Here we are, boys. For Anthony Bourdain, the recipe for understanding people, understanding cultures around the world, and creating a hit TV show couldn't be more straightforward. We ask very simple questions. What, what makes you happy? What do you eat? What do you like to cook? And everywhere in the world we go and ask these very simple questions, uh, we tend to get some really astonishing answers. Bourdain was found dead Friday morning by a friend in a hotel room in France, where he was filming for his award-winning CNN show, Parts Unknown. The cause of his death was suicide. But I thought I'd start the show by returning to Provincetown, all the way out on the tip of Cape Cod, which is where, um, at age 17, I started washing dishes and started working in the restaurant business and as a summer job and began my sort of trajectory in a, both the restaurant business and in a drugs. Somebody who wakes up in the morning and their first order of business is get heroin, uh, I know what that's like. Bourdain started working in kitchens at a young age and would become a celebrity chef and author as he made his way into television. The Smithsonian called him the original rock star of the culinary world, the Elvis of bad boy chefs. It was his way with words, his irreverence, curiosity, ease, and warmth that fueled his massive following. Bourdain didn't shy away from talking about past demons, heavy drug use that included an addiction to heroin as well as cocaine use. So bad, he said, he should have died in his 20s, but instead lived what he called a charmed life. Massachusetts is white, small-town America. He addressed his past head-on while highlighting the opioid epidemic in Massachusetts in an episode of his show. This is what it was supposed to all be about. Bourdain came to CNN in 2013, bringing his show to a global audience. Throughout his TV career, he won award after award. It was the food that lured people in, but viewers knew it was about so much more. Incredible. Quickly finding themselves immersed in an experience that focused on people, exotic places, and faiths from around the world. He insisted he wasn't a journalist, but over the years forged a unique style of storytelling that was unmatched.